you don't know how to use what we call the addition rule on the probability view. Yeah? Now, if we're going to use that rule, the challenge with this rule is that some of the things are going to be given in statements. Some of the things are going to be given in statements. Remember, an addition rule has four unknowns. We need three. Most of the time, the examination are going to be given as two. And then the other one is going to be given as a statement. So to now we can get the fourth one. Now let's take an example. Let's take example number one. If you look at example number one, they say two different events A and B are mutually exclusive. Okay. Two events A and B. Mm. If you look at events A and events B, they are mutually exclusive. What do we mean when we say events are mutually exclusive? What do you understand by the word mutually exclusive? Huh? Yeah, equal to zero. What is equal to zero? We are broad if you say equal to zero. It means so they are saying the probability of A and B is going to be equal to what? To zero. I'll say five. And then they say here yeah, it is fair given that the probability of they say 3B is going to be given as A. Yeah? They say the probability of A or B is going to be equal to 0, 0,63. Calculate the probability of B. How do you calculate the probability? We are going to be using this formula fresh. Starting from now to now, we are going to be using that formula. The formula, the, yes, let me repeat that thing. That formula, it needs to have three things so that we can take this point one. It needs to have three things so that we can take this one. This point one. Now, the, fourth, the third one, most of the time, is going to be given as a statement. Mutually exclusive, they gave you A and B here. How did they give you A and B? They said they are mutually exclusive. You know what they were saying? A and B is going to be equal to two, zero. So if you go to your formula, you know, switch it here, you know this one because they told us A or B is equal to 0, 0.63. They told us, right? Those are the you want And then they told me, which I have three A, I have three B, which is going to be A. Let's go and write this then. It means what I can say the probability of A or B is going to be given as the probability of A plus the probability of B yeah? minus probability of A and B, like this. Yeah? Let's go and substitute the things now that we know. What do we know? We know the probability of A or B. Yeah? What is the probability of A or B? 0, 0.63. Equals to probability of A. What is the probability of A? They said the probability of A can be written as 3B. Yeah? So you can say which is this one, it's going to be 3 probability of what? Of, of A. Mm -hmm. Plus, what is the probability of B? Is the probability of B? Yeah? yeah, this one is going to be the probability of B. Now we can either write A in terms of B or we can write B in terms of A, it doesn't matter. But because we're looking for B here, it makes sense for us to write everything in terms of what of, of B. Minus, what is the probability of A and B if the events are mutually exclusive? This is going to be equal to what to, to Z. Now from here onwards, you can say this one and this one, they are like terms. What is three A, what is three probability of A plus one probability of B? <laughs> so here you get four probability of B. And then this is going to be 0, 0,63. I want probability of P. How do I get probability of P? You can divide by 4, and then this side you can also divide by what? By 4. And say with the probability of P is going to be what do you get? What are you getting? 0, 0,8. 0, 0,8. 0,3, 0,63, 0,6, 